Romain, we're um, sitting down with you after your 200th game for Wolves. How proud are you of reaching that milestone? Of course, I'm very, very, very proud. It's about now almost six years in, the, in, in this club. Honestly, I, did, I didn't know if I was expecting to reach this, this number. I'm really proud of, of me and especially of what we, we've done in the last six years. Take us back to August 2016. What do you remember of the place and, and what was it that first attracted you to join here? I remember watching a, a cup game at home and then it was some negotiation with the with the club because uh, first of all to be honest I was not ready to come because now it's a bit different but before uh, in the past like coming from a top division like France was and uh, arrived in championship it was not looking like a, an upgrade so I was thinking a lot about uh, if I come or not. So I have a lot of discussion with my agent, with my family to take the, the best decision. And then I, after a couple of days, I decided to, to sign and um, to be ready to work and to, to be involved in this, in this project because I signed because I believe in the project. Otherwise, uh, I think I won't come if I don't believe in the <laughs> didn't believe in the project before. After you made your debut at Newcastle in September, Walter Zenger left seven games later for you. Paul Lambert came in and you, you played a bit less, didn't you? And I know you had injuries as well. How hard was it? And was there ever a point where you kind of thought, I've made a mistake, I shouldn't have come here? Yes, sometimes you <laughs> you ask yourself about uh, if if you take the the right decision. It's true. I play a lot under under Denga, and uh, it was a bit different with uh, Paul Lambert, especially after the African Cup of Nations. When I came back, I think I I stayed six, seven games in a row on the bench without coming inside. And uh, at the end of the season, I was uh, I was sad because the season was not good for for us and obviously for me. But in the same time, I was thinking, uh, I'm not sure I cannot live in that condition without showing to everyone what can I do. I was going to say to you, what changed? What do you think was, was the key point in that, that second season that turned everything around for you here? Well, first of all, because Nuno, he, be <laughs> he believed on me. Uh, he gave me a lot of, uh, a lot of confidence to, to play on that, uh, on that team. Uh, and then I think he he gave he gave um, an identity of to this team. That's why it was important for me to do all the preparation and uh, to to be ready to to win the the league and to to get promoted because that's what the the club wanted to achieve and we we did it after a fantastic season. Ruben. And I guess Connor as well, have both had significant milestones of 200 and 300 games that they've reached recently. What is it about the three of you that's made you last so long, firstly? And I guess how important are the three of you, do you think, to the way the dressing room and the team operates? Well, first of all, codes. It's easier now for seven years. He's the captain of the of the club now. I think he's showing a, a good example to 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 everyone by the way he's playing, but also by his leadership. So they have a lot of character. I think I have character as well. <laughs> uh, so it's important, especially for uh, this season, because uh, we have a lot of a lot of kids on the team. So it's important for. For the team to to have some player with more more experience, just to to show to them how this this club it's important for for everyone, for the fans, uh, for the, the, the all the people in the city, for the people working for the club, they don't have to to get any pressure from that, but just to make sure they understand they have some 
responsibility about, about it because now they are playing for a huge club in in Premier League so that's what we, we want to to do and to give to the, the the young players today. You mentioned being one of the senior players and the second longest serving. You're the only one who can remember Connor Cody as a midfielder alongside you. Yeah. How weird is that to see how what he's gone on to achieve? I oh, have so many things to say about him. Not only about midfielder, but right back. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, was. I think the, the. I'm not sure if they they will believe me. The the youngest player, if I said to them, Cody was a midfielder or right back <laughs> a few years ago. I remember one game away, uh, I think it was Blackburn first season. I was playing with with him and David Waltz in midfield. So it, it's quite funny how he, uh, he adapted uh, himself to the this new position to play centre-back. He just keep improving year after year and now naturally he's calling, he's called for the England national team. I think he, he deserved it. But the midfielder was not the, <laughs> the funniest one. The funniest one was right back. <laughs> when he was playing right back, just put the ball down, down the channel. <laughs> he cannot pass. He couldn't pass the, the line to, to attack. He was just thinking about defending. So A nice for conversion for him. <laughs> Because you yourself have adapted, there'll be some in some of your teammates that won't know, or maybe that it was you and Ruben dominating midfields in the championship. Yeah, some of them, I think they they are thinking I was the centre back for all my career, but no, I was um, I was playing as a midfielder, and uh, I really enjoyed this this season in championship. With the with Ruben in in midfield because everything was easy and natural between between us. I know I was there to do more the dirty job, and then he was more the player who's gonna give the ball forward. But even that, I think yeah, I can do it as well. Huh? I can play as well, so I was more uh, aggressive than him. He made some. Fantastic goals, of course. Fantastic goals. He had more quality than me with the with the ball, so the the complementarity was was amazing. You talk about the goals that he scored that season. I remember you scored an amazing one at Millwall. That because of Ruben would not have, at the other year that might have been goal of the season. For me, it was amazing. Well, for some of the players, they just said it's a mistake of the goalkeeper, so I don't understand honestly. Uh, of course, I was so happy because I think I tried so many shots this season. Oh my God, so many shots and I think it's the only one I target. <laughs> and it was a, a goal, so just show also my mentality, even if I missed, or if I failed, I just keep going and pushing on the the, the same way until I will achieve what, uh, what I want. You mentioned mentality. There's a famous photo, you know the one I'm talking about, flat out at Middlesbrough. How much does that sum up what you gave to the team then and now, and what you bring to the group, that complete effort? I was... I always be being like this. Um, life is a is a fight. Doesn't matter what you want to do. If you want something, you have to fight to 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 get it and just give everything. That's my mentality, and uh, that's why I think I'm I'm here today. And we are talking about. 200 games for, for Wolves because I never give up. Talent is important, but I think in football the mentality and the mental is really important as well. I wanted to ask you more about your mentality because after promotion, having played such a big part in getting promoted, it 
took a while to get your Premier League debut and you weren't always involved in the team that first season. How hard was that for you and how did you keep yourself focused to come out of it? Yeah, it was, uh, it was hard, honestly, because after the season we, we made, uh, and I did so also, um, plus I played the, the World Cup 2018. I came back a bit, a bit tired because I think I played something like 60 games on, the, on that season. Just take my, my time to be patient, sometimes it was really hard because I was waiting for that moment for, for a long time. As I said, it was my dream to play in Premier League. It was like if you just take off the, the dream from my, of my hand. It was really important to don't think too much or I'm not playing because I'm not good enough for this club anymore, for this team or to play in that competition. So I just keep working and be ready for for when my my day will will come, and when my day will come, uh, most important is to to be ready and to show to the coach uh, you waste your time putting me out of the team. How much did you have to change and adapt the way you played? We were doing looking through the stats, and in the nineteen twenty season as a defender, you had eleven yellow cards. And then the first 14 games of the next season, you didn't have a single one. So is that a sign of how you learned to play that role and adapted to be a Premier League defender? Yes, I had to because it was too many yellow cards. <laughs> it was too many yellow cards. I think at the beginning, uh, when I was defending, I was defending as a midfielder, but in the defensive position. You cannot run everywhere uh, like uh, like a midfielder because you're gonna open open some spaces and then after you the, you have only the goalkeeper so also the tactic the position uh, all these things try to just make my my game better also me to to feel better on the on the pitch it was important when you look at your game now there are some fans who call you the Moroccan Maldini. <laughs> I'm sorry for him. <laughs> How much of it is is Bruno as your new coach this year, uh, maybe allowing you to play a slightly different way? What's what's it like playing under him? Yeah, he likes to play. He likes to play. He likes we we start playing from the back, uh, from the goalkeeper, and then after the the centre backs. Uh, so I'm happy with with that because. Uh, I don't like to to spend games only defending because also I was a midfielder, so I like to to have the ball to touch the ball and then um, try to to play an, an attractive foot, football. And that's why he wants he wants the, he wants us from the backs to try to play uh, to link the game with the the full backs with the the midfielder. And everyone I think is. He's happy because uh, we are coming to training every day, knowing we're gonna we're gonna play football, and uh, that's it. When you play football, you just can't be happy. <laughs> Talking of that pleasure, you Championship, Premier League, the FA Cup run, big European nights as well. What's your highlights? What are the games that stand out to you the last six years? Well, so many games, so many games. Uh, I can talk about, uh, we are talking about Middles go away because it was a crazy, crazy week for, for me. You have the game against Cardiff, of course. And then after all the games on, on Europa League, there's so many games, I enjoy it. City at home on the Boxing Day. All the Boxing Day, I like it. All the Boxing Day. When it's Boxing Day, I like it. You mentioned that Man City game. I remember you telling me you didn't actually know we'd won that game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it was... Uh, 
I thought we are winning uh, before uh, Matt scored the third goal, like we are winning 2-1. So every time I got the ball, I just played, but relax, just calm down, we have time, just move the ball. And then when he scored, I saw 3-2 on the, <laughs> on the board, I said, oh my God. Because when you talk about big moments, the parade, the celebrations, you seem to really enjoy that day. And of course, it was my first trophy. <laughs> and the only one until today. So no, I was happy because we achieved what we wanted to, to do with this club. Get the promotion and be champions was amazing. So especially after the first season I had to see all these people in the, the streets being happy, uh, young, uh, young person, old person, all the generation. I'm not sure if they, they went to school this day, the kids. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, I can understand because they really love this club. And I know why now for, for six years. There will be some who've seen all the behind the scenes videos of you doing different things on media days, the different players you've played with, the different roles you've had within the team. Who is Romain Saiz? How do you want people to remember you? No, like, uh, maybe not the best player in the in this club or maybe the best player the, the, the club had in, on, on, on his history. But uh, a player who just gave everything for, for this club, for these fans, who was enjoying every day uh, the training, uh, the games, just just trying to to achieve uh, great things for this club with the with the smile, because as I said, uh, we are lucky to to play football and uh, to have the, this kind of, of people on the dressing room. So when you do it with the smile, you want to, obviously you want to do more. So just, uh, that's it, a hard worker, sometimes funny, and uh, who just give his best for the, this club and this, this city.